Hello, my name is Andrew Bechtel, and welcome to my course on Civil Engineering Probability and Statistics. Now, you may be asking yourself, I'm a civil engineer, why do I have to take probability and statistics? I don't want to be a statistician or a professional gambler, I want to just want to design bridges and building and things. There are two main reasons why you need to have this course in your curriculum. The first is, I insisted on this course being added to the curriculum, so you're in this course because I wanted you to be. And two, it's because your education has mostly been a lie to this point. Um, you've been taught things in a very straightforward way which really don't represent the real world. So let's talk about a very simple example. So let's say I want to make pies, apple pies, and it takes four apples to make one pie. I can write a very complex mathematical equation about this. So if I say, x equals the number of apples and y equals the numbers of pies, I can say that y equals x over 4. When I have four apples, I can make one pie. Very deterministic, it's the right answer, and no one can question that. So what I'm saying is that every time I make a pie, I need four apples. Again, this example represents a very deterministic view of the world. There, there are two ways to look at deterministic, but they're both related. If I look at it as it, in terms of philosophy, it is relating to the philosophical doctrine that all events, including human actions, are ultimately determined by causes regarded as external to the will, and it indicates a lack of free will. So your life goes how it's going to go, and it has completely to do to externality, and your choices have no impact on your life. Um, we're talking about it more mathematically, and in math, it's a system which no randomness is involved in the development of future states of the system. It's saying that it takes four apples to make one pie, it will always take four apples to make one pie, and there is nothing that can change that. Now, we know that's not true. Let's say I get a big apple, and I no longer need four apples, I need one big apple and two small apples, so I can use three apples. Or, let's say I have a rotten apple that I can't use, so that to make one pie, I need five apples. What this is saying is that the number of apples to make a pie are not constant. Things can happen that you need different numbers. <clears throat> and that's basically what we need probability and statistics for. So, if we lived in a purely deterministic world, which we do not, there are all... It, it will always take four apples to make one pie. We live in the real world where there's rotten apples, small apples, big apples, all kinds of different apples that we need to make one pie. So maybe if I got a really, really giant apple, I, could, I would only need one apple to make one pie. But what we see here is a dis distribution of the, things, of the number of apples we need to make a pie. Now, really... What this is, is statistics and probability allow you to make an argument. Let's say we wanted to start a company and make pies. And we said, well, our equation says four apples make one pie, and I want to make five pies, so I need 20 apples. But 20 apples isn't always going to work. Sometimes I'm going to have apples left over, which would be wasted money. Sometimes I'm not going to have enough apples, so I'm not going to make enough pies. What's statistics and probability do is let you make an argument and figure out how many apples you really need to buy so that you can keep making your pies. So maybe I don't need 20 apples, maybe I need 21 apples. And then I can regularly make all my pies with as little waste as humanly possible. Statistics makes an argument. It doesn't give you a deterministic answer. So if you use statistics and probability to make decisions, are you always going to make the right decision? No. Are you going to make the right decision the majority of the time? Probably yes. Now, if apples and pies don't tickle your fancy and you're interested in more engineering things, this same idea about apples and pies can be extended to number of cars on a highway, water in a retention basin, settlement of soil under a foundation, strength of concrete in a bridge. We need to be able to handle the fact that all of these things, the number of cars, the amount of water, the settlement of soil and the strength of concrete are not deterministic constants. They're random. And we need to be able to incorporate this randomness into our designs so that we can be safe. 
So all of civil engineering basically runs on statistics and probability. It's just that we don't talk about it very much. But that's why it's important that you have this class now.